three, two, one, ignition, and lift off. Go Falcon, go into ignition. So on board the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket that launched this evening from Cape Canaveral, the Lunar Trailblazer orbiter built by Lockheed Martin right here in Littleton, Colorado. Trailblazer's mission is to map the locations of water on the moon. Now in 2008, scientists discovered the existence of water, but Trailblazer was built to figure out exactly where it is and in what form. Now theoretically, future manned missions to the moon can then use the water for things like creating breathable oxygen and or fuel. And just before the launch today, I spoke with Lockheed's Trailblazer program manager and the Deep Space Exploration Manager about the local pride this represents. How much of this was, was built there in, in, at the Littleton campus? Yeah, yeah, the spacecraft was, was designed, uh, built, and tested at, at the Waterton campus in, uh, in Littleton. And the uh, instruments that were integrated onto the vehicle came from uh, the University of Oxford and JPL. Uh, so we didn't build those at Lockheed Martin, but we did. We were responsible for integrating and testing those and checking out the entire spacecraft uh, and then uh, supporting our partners in mission operations. So Whitley, I assume- can I, And can I just add- Yeah, you know, please. For, for a little bit of bragging rights, you know, this is a this is a lineage that we've carried in Colorado here. Um, Deep Space Exploration um, this year is actually going to be um, celebrating one of our our major milestones with the 50th anniversary of the Viking launch. Um, and so, you know, one of the things that we feel really strongly about is we've been exploring um, deep space in Colorado for a very long time. Um, that's including lunar missions as well as other solar system missions. That Viking spacecraft you mentioned, also built by Lockheed and Littleton, was the first spacecraft to land on Mars, July 1976. So it took four years to build the Trailblazer there on the Waterton campus. It's expected to take four to seven months for Trailblazer to get into orbit, and then it should start sending data back soon after that.